have both the Janna and Corky play in mid so that they can keep rotating and threatening using their range advantage, especially when Shin Sakai has the red buff. And look at that. Impunity are in a position where they're trying to respond. They're trying to amend. But maybe, just maybe, this is where it just goes a bit too hairy for Alliance as they dip their toes too deep into the pool. Although the damage and the safety for the Janna is allowing Shin Sakai and teammate to deal so much damage. Cryo comes in a little bit too late to the party and the three versus one is going to be real. Can he get the kills that he needs? Can he have the flash away Ooh. as it seems like Swirl is about to get him satchel charge to keep him out of harm's way but in the end impunity get the advantage rich is playing along that same line although there is going to be a punish from wrath i like how he was able to just readjust immediately knowing the rotations that was going to be coming from an alliance as the rapid fire cannon and it's going to be tough the hexing ultimate and everyone else coming from impunity just going to be jumping right on top of lions the corky immediately melted down they are not going to give alliance any time to think at all and impunity they're playing catch up you can see the rest of Wrath and the rest of Impunity are just going oh, right at it and I really love how they were able to utilize that ultimate but still not going to work out in the end as CWJ comes in here. Quartevois, he just wants to go spin to win oh. but is the damage going to be enough? He does get the kill. The dive right back in from Wild Boar and they stabilize the fight for the moment. CWJ is going to go in for the pinch but he bought off, oh. by, bit off more than he can chew and once again he got mauled by Impunity. In switch there, um, if uh, they don't mind, the, uh, we do have Quad of One just gonna be chasing down the CWJ. Potential coming from Impunity is definitely all the way down low because of the fact that Oriana and especially for this uh, Garen is still gonna be taking some time. So Impunity, they need to do something about this and try to work with the shop with it. But unfortunately, the, uh, the Garen just managed to come in in the nick of time. Singed goes down first and that is going to be Azrael down for the count too. It's gonna be five versus three at this point of, uh, at this point of time. Shinsuke tries to get himself out of that. The GA is gonna be popped, reviving in the heart of Impunity's heart. And there's just no way that the Lions can even get themselves back in this game. Trying to go for the snipe onto the raft with the Super Mega Inferno Bomb. But that is not going to happen. Uh, his shield. And just like that, the Baron is now going to be contested by the side of Impunity. It's definitely going to take some time before Alliance comes in with the regroup. I don't think that this is going to be the case. The Howling Guild is just going to be sending 2% for flying right up to the sky. But unfortunately, Wukong is going to be the one that brings down the Baron. The Cyclone picks up. He gets the kill on the Janna. Quite crucial for them. The set adjustments of Alliance and oh. the rest of them still just fighting. They're not even done just yet. And Raven is going oh. at it. Wild Boar, though, he's gonna just sacrifice his life as well as Rich. To have their back against the wall, and especially the amount of pressure that CWJ is putting onto the board. Wild Boar jumps right in with the Dimension Standard, and the Cataclysm just gonna be pumped right onto Rich. But unfortunately, CWJ takes a leap of faith right inside of the Cataclysm, only for him to face against three of the members. And here comes the True Shot Barrage, almost getting the kill down on the Wild Boar, as well as Wrath. And against Split pushing by himself, and oh no, up until this, up in this point, he's not even afraid. He's just gonna dive right in, and Court of Law, can he even get the kill? Oh, he actually might be able to. Beautifully done from Court of Law. CWJ biting off more than he can chew. A bit too over aggressive there, a bit too over eager. But in the end, Court of Law is happy with that one. Big team fight coming in right now. There's a TP as well from Court of Law dealing into the damage, dealing, getting into the fights. And Impunity might have just turned this tide around.